Testing, testing, one, two, ichi ni san. All right, we're live. Hi, guys, and welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Today, very exciting video, as we're going to take a deep dive in the metaverse as to how you can celebrate the New Year's Eve in style within virtual reality, talking about all the various different platforms, where the parties are at, and much, much more. But first, I'd like to welcome our new subscribers to the channel, also regular viewers, and awesome already subscribers to the channel because guys as you know we are giving away a brand new hp reverb d2 as well as a brand new cyber gaming station including the cyber shoes the chair and the carpet everything with it so that's very awesome and a third winner will get to win a us dollar 50 dollars sorry 50 us dollar voucher that you can redeem for your oculus meta quest store viveport or steam vr store so it will be completely up to you as to how you want to spend the money how awesome is that so link in the description below as to how to enter and also do make sure to enable your bell after you subscribe so you can get notified potentially if you are a winner all right let's transition over now to today's story which is all about the metaverse new year's eve parties and much much more now the first platform that i recommend that you go and check out is going to be old space vr because all space are going to have a certain number of, party, of parties inside, as you can see here. Then let me just show you some footage that I took of Old Space that I went back in today, especially for you. Then let me just can the, can the, the noise. Here you go. Now, what I really like about Old Space is the fact that the graphics have gotten much, much better. They're much more smooth. Uh, the avatars are more animated. Um, yes, there is a New Year's Eve party going on as well later on. So this is definitely one of the places that you want to go and check out. Um, you know, there are various different places that you can go and see. They have different worlds. Here's some of the examples of the avatars. Uh, the way that you move inside is very easy. I mean, there's just a lot of things that you can do. Um, you know, the graphics are okay. It's safe for everybody. And then also the other thing is, of course, that you don't need a PC to actually go into this specific, uh, you know, to this specific app into all space. So Oculus Metal Quest 2 people can go in. Uh, those who have a Pico Neo 3 Pro, unfortunately, will need to be uh, air streaming or use the cable to the PC because all space is not available inside of uh, the, the Pico Neo 3 Pro. However, you can use any PC VR app as well to go inside and go and check a whole bunch of different things. So, you know, the graphics are perfectly nice, perfectly a lot of things that you can do inside. Now, the number two platform that you might actually want to go and check out uh, would be uh, VR Chat. VR Chat is a really awesome platform. What I really love about VR Chat is the fact that you can choose really crazy avatars. I mean, let, let me, let's check this out. I mean, here I'm choosing like a frog. Uh, then you can be another kind of avatar, which is like this. The graphics are very cute. They're not too bad. Um, there's a huge amount of people in avatar compared to all space. I think the biggest difference between all space and, and uh, VR chat is that VR chat is just just has so much more people inside. There are so many more worlds that you can go and check out. And also the graphics uh, in uh, VR chat are much more elaborate compared to, uh, you know, compared to, to all space for sure. Um, but I'm just saying that all space is a much safer place in terms of uh, how things are controlled inside and there's you know, less rude people, you know, this kind of stuff. So that's why I put VR chat as number two. But I have to say that in terms of uh, experience, then VR chat will provide a much better experience. Now, this is one of the worlds that is actually being used uh, for the New Year's Eve party. And it is dressed up as, uh, I think this is one of the places in Times Square, New York. And in about two hours time, this world will be fully open with a lot of different people inside. VR chat is used specifically for a lot of concerts. Uh, Jean-Michel Jean has used it. Uh, the Festival of Venice, Venice has used it. A lot of famous people use VR chat for the big festivals and big concerts because of what you can do inside. I mean, it's just mind boggling. You can only, you can also fit 
many more people inside a VR chat per world compared to old space. So you might be able to party with a lot more friends inside of this place. Now, if I just show you some other avatars, so here I'm talking to some avatars. So, so, I mean, you can tell that how the avatars are quite well done. Uh, they got all types of different avatars. I mean, it's really crazy. Uh, this guy was giving me a tour and telling me a little bit more about, uh, you know, the, the actual uh, uh, Times Square in New York version of the, um, you know, of, 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 of VR chat. And I also did another magic quest, which looks really absolutely amazing. I mean, check these special effects out. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. It's just absolutely amazing. These graphics look absolutely amazing. You can do so much inside of VR chat, really give people amazing kind of tours, amazing kind of sense of presence, uh, sense of immersion. Uh, if I, I mean, just look at this. It's so beautiful. And then here you transport into another world. It's part of the quest. I had to solve some puzzles and go inside. It's absolutely beautiful, really stunning. Uh, the water, I mean, is really well done. I have to say that the graphics inside of VR chat are getting much, much better uh, compared to what's available these days. I mean, it is just freaking amazing. Uh, with the Oculus Metal Quest 2, I'm not quite sure if the graphics are this good. And also do, uh, do remember that you will be limited in terms of what avatars you can see inside of uh, your, when you're using the Oculus Metal Quest 2. But Oculus Metal Quest 2 can also use this app uh, for sure. So without any issues whatsoever. All right, another app that I wanted to show you guys uh, that you can use. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you can use it with the Oculus, Mes Oculus Meta Quest 2 or not, is Roblox. But I have to say that inside of Roblox, unfortunately, uh, there are some issues with the actual um, controllers. So it is recommended. You can walk around uh, using your um, Oculus Meta Quest 2 or your Pico Neo 3 Pro as well. Now, with the Pico Neo 3 Pro and the Oculus Meta Quest 2, you will need to, I think, be tethered to the PC using the Oculus Link or the Pico Neo 3 Pro uh, 4K DP cable, because otherwise it can be very hard to move around with your actual VR headset. Now, Roblox is very popular, especially for teenagers or for the younger crowd, but Paris Hilton is having a party inside of her own Paris world, just to let you know. Uh, there are numerous and countless, um, let me just try to get rid of this. Uh, there are numerous and countless, as I mentioned, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, new, <laughs> news articles about this as to what you can do. She has a whole bunch of different things uh, that are available inside of the world. Uh, let me go back to uh, the actual footage itself. There we go. Here's another part of the scene. So she built this a uh, stunning wheel, like kind of funfair kind of environment, uh, which looks pretty cool, I have to say. Uh, but again, if you, with the HP Reverb G2, you're going to have to change your controller bindings. In fact, with the HP Reverb G2 or other PC VR headsets, you're going to need to use a Microsoft Xbox S controller. Otherwise, it's going to be very hard to navigate around, I have to say. But at least you could be in VR. I mean, that's the good thing. The good thing is that you can be in VR uh, and be fully immersed inside of the world. Uh, here, I actually climbed on side of the Ferris wheel. So it, it, it gives you a really nice sense of what's going on, what's, in, what's around. And of course, at New Year's Eve, there's going to be tons and tons of people inside of this world. So Roblox is another place that you can go inside and check out. Now, the next world that, frankly, this is a little bit unusual to me is that there were some articles uh, recently about how Sensor is not available and it's been taken down. Now, I'd like to let you guys know that it is not taken down. There are so many different parties available in Sensor that you can go and check out. The graphics are stunning. Best graphics in VR and social, uh, for, for a social media VR app, I have to admit that Sensor provide the best immersion, the best graphics available. Oh my God, Sensor is just absolutely amazing as to what is available inside in terms of the graphics. They're so smooth. 
So smooth. You do need, however, PCVR, so you can use the Oculus Meta Quest 2 as well as the Pico Neo 3 Pro using the Oculus Link cable or the 4K DP VR cable. Um, but of course, you can use any other PC VR headset. For the HP Reverb G2, do make sure to change the VR bindings, otherwise, it will be tough to actually navigate inside. So, just a tip there. But my God, I mean, the graphics inside of um, the graphics inside of this app are just absolutely amazing. Uh, and here I'm playing with a ball. You can see the glowing effects and everything. Uh, you can see TV screens. You can see, uh, I mean, my God, it's just absolutely amazing as to what you can do. And then here you can see the stage a little bit more uh, with the Pioneer DJ console, the stage at the background. I can tell you that New Year's Eve inside a Sensor is going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, Amazing, absolutely amazing. I can tell you this from the get-go. They do, they've done so many festivals, including the Glastonbury Festival inside of here. Uh, one of our videos was picked up by the Rolling Stone magazine who published our uh, YouTube channel video on the Rolling Stone magazine. If I just go to the Sensor events and you can see here, they have a big party coming up here by Walt Club. Uh, let me just go to the other link. So you can go to the website and check out all the various different, uh, you know, parties happening inside of Sensor, as well as, of course, All Space and also VR Chat. They have all the various different events after you create an account, uh, you know, going inside and checking out all the various different events here. So as you can see, more than a thousand people are probably going to be going to this place. I would say maybe 5,000 people are going to go to this place. Um, so, you know, it's going to be absolutely amazing. And then you have all the events here for Sensor World as well. And then finally, another app that I'd like to uh, introduce to you guys, if you're not uh, familiar with it, is Neos. Now, Neos, I would say, is far ahead of its time, but what it provides inside is absolutely crazy. There's going to be a bunch of us inside of NEOS, I can tell you now. Um, there's no specific events inside of NEOS in terms of uh, parties or things like that you, that you can do. So I think most of us are just going to go in amongst groups of friends and then together we're just going to check out what's inside. The graphics are freaking amazing. The only issue that I have with NEOS is the loading time takes so long between each world. It takes me with an RTX 2070, i7 9700K, uh, Asus Maximus Hero 11 and some good NVMe uh, and, 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 and like 32 or 64 gigs of RAM, and I'm, I'm now got a really good PC, guys. Come on. Uh, of course, it's not as good as an RTX 300, uh, 380 or something like that, but or an i9 maybe. Although our chipset is supposed to be better than an i9 because we have more, uh, more, more, more. Um, Ah, I forgot the word. More stuff inside of it than the 99. Uh, so, but by the end of the day, it takes such a long time to load all the different things. But what I really love about NEOS is the fact that you can develop. This is just showing you some footage as to what you can do. These avatars are talking together. Uh, you can build things on the fly. The it's so powerful as to what you can build inside. Also, if you check out the avatars, uh, let me just get another video. Okay, I'm trying to get rid of this video. There we go. Uh, Neos avatar. If you look at his ears, for example, they're very fluid. The mouth, when he talks, it just feels like you're talking to real person. Uh, the ears, the, the movement of the body, of the head, the feathers are very fluid. I mean, the avatars is another level. It's another level. I would say that Sensar provide the best graphics that VR, social media VR can buy today. However, NEOS provide the most flexibility and the best avatars in terms of graphics, in terms of fluidity, fluidity, in terms of how they react when the body moves and the movement of the body. NEOS is another, NEOS is another, it, 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 you just can't compare it to anything that is available currently today. Um, but in terms of the world, they have some really cool worlds as well available. There's a lot of things that you can do inside. Um, this is another avatar. This is Skiva from Between Realities. Do go and check out his uh, YouTube channel, guys, Between Realities. They do a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, so I, he was just talking to me earlier today, uh, showing me a little bit what 
what they can do. And then let me show you his other avatar with uh, a sweater. This is a custom avatar. So he was telling me that he went inside a blender, uh, changed the, uh, the textures inside of Photoshop, and then in Blender created the, uh, the things that he needed to do, exported it as a specific file, and then imported it back inside of Neos. And then finally, uh, I would like to talk about this other event happening uh, that was reported by the New York Times and also Coindesk is Decentraland will be also recreating their own version of New York Times inside of Decentraland. Uh, now, the only thing that I don't like about Decentraland, and quite frankly, this is why I don't class it as a metaverse space at this moment in time, is the fact that you can't use a VR headset inside of Decentraland. You cannot use a VR headset inside of Decentraland. What? Why are they calling themselves a metaverse space when you can't use a VR headset? I might as well go to Habo Hotel. <laughs> Do you remember Habo Hotel? Habo Hotel used to be huge. Or Second Life, before it got bought over by the Sensar guys. Second Life. It's the same thing. If you can't put a VR headset, I'm really sorry, you are not a metaverse space. What are you doing calling yourself a metaverse space if you cannot wear an immersive headset. If you cannot wear any immersive headsets, you are not a metaverse. You're not metaverse. You're not metaverse. But anyway, I just wanted to let you know, guys, that if you do have a PC, uh, you can go inside of Decentraland. Uh, you can walk around. Decentraland basically enables you to buy space uh, and all these kind of things using cryptocurrencies, um, you know, and, 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 you know, stuff like that. So I just want to show you some footage. There we go. So the graphics are okay. I, I've been inside. I've spent a little time. It's not too bad. It's fine. But at the end of the day, guys, I don't want to spend too much time on it because, quite frankly speaking, you can't wear VR headset. Another, another platform I, I would like to talk a little bit more about, however, is uh, Somnium Space. Because inside of Somnium Space, if I just uh, put Somnium, there we go, Somnium Space. Okay, there we go. Inside of Somnium Space, it is, it is also part of the blockchain, by the way. And you can maybe create your own little party during New Year's Eve, uh, you know, with your own group of friends. You can go, you don't have to upload any credits or anything like that inside of Somnium Space. But the graphics are much better now. You can rent property, you can trade, uh, you can do a whole bunch of different things inside of Somnium Space. Now, there are no events happening in Somnium Space, as far as I know, as far as I'm concerned, at this moment in time. Uh, and there are a few glitches inside of Somnium Space. Do make sure you uh, enable the bell after you subscribe, because I will definitely do more videos about Somnium Space in terms of how you can navigate, what you can do inside. But I'm just saying that, you know, it is another space that you could go inside and with your friends party, with your friends spend some time. That's all I'm trying to say with you guys. All right? All right, guys, have a huge, mega, amazing New Year's Eve tonight. Happy New Year to you tomorrow. I'll see you in a new video very soon in the comments below. And do remember that you can enter the chance to win a brand new HP Reverb D2, as well as cyber shoes and the cyber chair with the cyber carpet, the whole gaming station, as well as 50 US dollar voucher that you can redeem to your uh, Oculus MetaQuest store, Viport or SteamVR store. Link in the description below as to how you can enter and make sure to enable after you subscribe as you could be notified potentially to be the winner all right guys take it easy and i'll see you in the video very very soon and in the comments below bye guys joyeux noël à tout le monde joyeux année bonne année à tout le monde